everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a super quick video for you, and what I want to do is I want to be able to show you where you can farm up to possibly 10 nature mints every single day. If you are somebody that is new to competitive and you don't have the battle points to be able to afford nature mints at the battle tower, because they do cost 50 battle points per mint, uh, then this is going to be a great way that you can get yourself some free nature mints. And also, if you just want to save yourself some battle points, this does not take very long to do. And again, you can do this every day. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you uh, some different locations in the Isle of Armor and then the Crown Tundra where you can find nature mints. Now, these are the only locations that have nature mints that can spawn. So if you do not have the DLC and you don't have the Sword or Shield Expansion Pass, unfortunately, this is not going to work for you. But if you do have the Expansion Pass, then you can take advantage of this. So this tree here, this little sparkly item here, is the first one that can possibly be a mint. So today it's a Nest Ball, so it's not a mint there. Then you're going to come over past uh, the Dreadnought here, and you're going to go to this tree. There is another sparkly item right here. Today, this one is a Pokeball for me. Again, no mint, but it has the chance of being a mint. And then this sparkle over here on the other side of the entrance to the Forest of Focus. This first one here, today it's a Galerica Twig, but again, it has the chance of being a Nature Mint. There's a second location in the Isle of Armor that can have Nature Mints, and I'm going to show you where that is next. All right, so the next location that can have mints is this island right behind that raid beam there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fly to the Tower of Waters on Challenge Beach, and then you're going to get into the water here, and you're going to bike all the way to this island over here. All right, once you get over here to this island, there are, again, three different locations that can possibly have mints for you. I believe here is the first one. So this one is a dose of energy powder today. I believe it's either going to be like a dose of energy powder or a mint. Uh, this one here is the second one. So again, it's a dose of energy powder. And then here is the third option. Here is a modest mint. So out of the six locations that we checked so far, this is the first one that's given us a mint today. After you've done the six locations on the Isle of Armor, you're then going to want to fly to the Crown Tundra. You can fly to the Reggie Steel Temple in Giant's Bed. If you don't have this unlocked yet, alternatively, you can just fly to Freezington because it's not that much further. But uh, if you have the Reggie Steel Temple unlocked, then this is just going to be your best option. So from the Reggie Steel Temple, you are going to want to basically stay within this Giant's Bed area. And there are a bunch of different locations that can spawn nature mints. So we're going to cut to each one of those locations now. Okay, so this tree is the first location. This is a tree that's just right outside the Registeel Temple. Again, it's got this little, like, bush next to it, so that might be an indication that, uh, you know, the sparkles around those bushes are where you can find some mints. The next one is this rock over here. This is, again, just past the tree. I just came uh, from the tree, went in through here, and then stayed on the left and found uh, the mint over here next to this rock with a couple bushes. The next one is on this rock, which is not too far from the other rock. You can actually see it just right in the distance over there, basically right above the Bronzong. Uh, and then this bush right over here had a mint for me. There's another mint right over here by this tree. This is just past some of these ruins here, right next to one of the Aerodactyl Strong Spawns, and uh, just above where this uh, river is, just kind of to the west of it. There's another one here right next to this bush. This is like right at the entrance of the, the little pond here that's got the, the berry tree and the Dynamax den over there. Found another one over here. This is on next to a bush that is right down past the old cemetery here. There's another one here next to this tree. This is the little path that takes you right into where the Reggie Rock Temple is. And then I believe this is the last one. There's another uh, little bush right here. Uh, just again, coming up the... Uh, the hill here, the, the Reggie Rock Temple is just back in here. So if you, instead of going this other direction to take you into where the, the cave is to get to um, the, the area with the sea and the icebergs, you just go this way. And uh, it was this little bush right up here. So yeah, I believe that's all the locations in the tundra that can spawn nature mints. Um, there's always, it's always going to be worth checking all of the different areas every single day. Uh, I believe that was, uh, I think that was seven-ish that we got uh, in the tundra alone. Uh, so if you do all those locations within the tundra, I believe those locations every single day will spawn you a mint. Every single day that I've come out here to check them, they've had a mint for me. So that's seven alone per day in the tundra. And then depending on how lucky you get on the Isle of Armor, that can potentially be over 10 free nature mints every single day. And that will save you so many battle points. 
uh, over the course of looting the, the different mints. I'll put a list up on screen now of the ideal natures that you want to be looking for mints for. Basically, when it comes to competitive, you never want your Pokemon to have a nature that is going to lower their defense, so lower their physical defense or their special defense. So any mints that can change the nature of your Pokemon to uh, defense lowering nature you want to avoid, and also you never want to be using uh, a neutral nature. So I believe the only mint that uh, can spawn, that can change your nature to a neutral nature is the sassy mint, so you want to avoid that as well. But again, just reference the list on screen that will show you all the ideal natures of mints that you want to be looking for. So that's going to do it. Thank you everybody so much for watching this short video. I really, really hope that this was helpful. I know some of the locations within the tundra can be kind of tricky to see where they are when you're just kind of looking at it for like a couple of seconds. So if you're confused about any of the locations that I showed in this video, just leave a comment down below and I will do my absolute best to help you out. Also, feel free to come by and check out a live stream if you like. My Twitch link will be in the description down below as well as appearing on screen. We stream regularly Monday through Thursday evenings. We mostly focus on shiny hunting. We have been starting to do some competitive as well and I like to host community events uh, about once a month or so too. So if any of that sounds like that interests you, feel free to come by and join us for a live stream. If this video was helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thank you again everyone so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.